Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. So last episode, we had twins, which means we have three kids. So they're actually gonna be aging up in a day. Yeah, and then I changed Ryder to age up a little bit sooner as well because, you know, we're getting close to being done with this generation. So I kind of want to get him to age up as soon as possible so we don't have to worry about, you know, waiting a very long time. So I'm actually going to send her off here to get um, a case. And then also, at the end of the last episode, I had her look through the telescope and, like, search the galaxy. And a fallen meteor landed here, so I want to collect it and see if, like, we get anything from that. I honestly don't know. I'm having Ryder, like, chill in this- what the heck? Did I just see his hair, like, up here? What the heck? Um, but I'm having him sit in this playpen because he can, like, learn to talk. I was also setting up yesterday because I wanted to make their nursery look a little bit cuter. And he was playing with blocks, and he looked so buff. I'll just put the picture on the screen of what he was looking like. But I was just like, um, why does he look like he goes to the gym? <laughs> it was really funny, but... I mean, overall, he's still a really cute baby, so, like, I still can't believe he has, like, super blonde hair, though. That's the only other thing. I'm just like... Uh, you really got your grandfather's genetics there. Interview a client? Yeah, easy. So we only have three more levels left in the career, and then we're done, and then basically we're just done with the challenge itself, uh, or at least the generation. I wonder if she gets anything out of this. Do you? Oh, do you just pick it up? Oh, like, you just collect it. Oh, analyze. Wait, what happens if I analyze it? Valued at 112 simoleons. What is analyzing? <gasps> Wait, it's worth more now. 230 simoleons. I mean, we don't really necessarily need the money. I want to get this career done. ASAP. But I also want to get them married, I think, in this episode. Just so that we have that done and out of the way. We might have a wedding. Maybe tomorrow might be the best day. What are those yeah. tattoos, girl? Like, questionable. Purchase four tomatoes and conduct experiments at the local science facility. What? You got me buying tomatoes? I mean, okay, I guess I can buy some tomatoes. You know, while I'm there, I'll just buy two birthday cakes for Cheyenne and Arlo, just so that I have them ready. All right, we need four tomatoes. Oh, let's head off to the science lab, conduct experiments, and get that done. Wait, are you, how are you doing? Oh, you're not doing bad at all. Are you done... Weren't you done, like, almost learning to talk? Yeah, you're, like, basically there. How are you not in a bad mood? Does this level your stuff? Why is it all going in the green? Do I just keep my toddlers in this all the time? Hey, he learned how to talk. There you go. Play with mirror. Is that what that is? That's a mirror? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Wait. That's kind of cute. But we could put him in the walker so he can learn how to walk. Wait, is he- wait! Go back to the mirror. I want to see what you were doing. He does still kind of look buff here. Oh! That's so cute when he puts his hands on his cheek. Okay. Anyways, you can put Ryder in this so he can learn how to walk. Eat tomato at local hospital. What? That is so weird. I mean... I mean, do what you got to do, girl, but <laughs> why we got a job about tomatoes? <laughs> a little weird, but whatever. He's been in this pen all day. I don't know if that's supposed to level his stuff up like that, though. Like, that doesn't seem right, but I mean, I'm not going to complain. I really won't. All right, Ryder. Now you learn to walk, my dude. You got this, okay? Discuss tomato properties with Nick Knack. What a name. Oh, it's her dad. How are you guys still not elders yet? Like, I feel like you guys have been adults for so long. Oh, they're in the hospital. Ryder just learned to walk already? Huh? That was so fast. I'm the greatest, right? Yeah, dad, you're really the greatest. Love you. Uh, she wants to see him age up well. We can save that. Okay, pick him up, and then he can play with whatever. I don't know if he has any other skills that he can really learn. Wait, I think I've lived in this house before. Oh, no, wait. Actually, I don't think I lived here. I think I remember when I was playing the uh, architecture. Jesus, why is it lagging so bad? Oh, my God. This house is so laggy. Holy. I'm like, why is she lagging so bad? 
No, but I think I've been to this house when I was working with the architecture career, and I think I was, like, making over this spot or something. Do for clues at the local market. Tomorrow, I think maybe after we age up the kids tomorrow, depending on when we get that <laughs> notification, uh, then we'll probably have the wedding. Also, somebody did, like, tell me all about this inventor's table, which I genuinely don't remember the comment because I read it, like, I think two weeks ago or something, if not longer. But I want to still, like, try and invent something. Invent indefinitely what does that mean that you'd be inventing for the rest of your life <laughs> interesting hack scientific database on a computer man y'all like let me relax please how do i not remember where the library is like we've been there so many times it's literally right here blow whistle at the supermarket jesus wait why are you nauseous sabine isn't feeling so hot you may want to keep her around a bathroom from completing opportunity oh we got the nauseous mood lip because of it what the heck that's so weird i know you're very hungry i totally know but like listen this job gives us so many things we gotta do oh, we're almost halfway with job experience he's running a scrap to invent with are you serious how much scrap do i need maybe i just need to get a whole ton of scrap before i can let's report it and then we can go back home I thought we'd be able to do some more um, looking through the telescope, but it doesn't look like it, so. Let us go home and eat and sleep. It's already five o'clock in the morning, how? Is time going by that fast? I really just can't wait for him to age up into a child because the sooner that happens, the better. Okay, we can age up the babies. I'm just gonna do it now. No interactions available, what do you mean? Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, can you come here? Let's just blow out the baby. Let's just blow out the babies. No, let's blow out the candles. Do Cheyenne and then you can do um, Arlo. Oh my God, Justin, you look like a whole mess. There we go. There's one baby down. Now Arlo, come on. I love how they just put their burrito babies in the ground. <laughs> Any day now. There we go. Yeah, I know it's their birthday. Yay! Oh, she has brown hair. Shane is now a toddler. Oh, wait, that hair is kind of cute. Look at her. Oh, maybe let's not look at her. She's crying. <laughs> maybe let's not. Age up. You can go to bed. And he has blonde hair. What the? That's not even her hair color. She was not born with that. No, no, no. Okay, actually, maybe you should grab a slice of cake and then go to sleep. We'll worry about them after. Sabine, we'll worry about them after, hun. Put her down. You know, not is fine, too. Like, what are these outfits? Sabine, just drop her. Well, not, like, drop her, but, like, put her down. <laughs> I need to give them makeovers, though, because, let's be honest, they both have the same hair, which, I mean, it's fine, but... I also want to change their last name, so I'm going to go into cast and do that. All right, so I just finished giving them makeovers. Nothing too crazy at all. Arlo basically looks like his older brother, which is really <laughs> funny to me, but you know, it's fine. I wonder if they're gonna look a lot alike. Like, I'm really curious to see what they're gonna look like when they're older. Very much wondering. Why do you walk like a grandpa? <laughs> like, why do you walk like that? Actually, you can go ahead and put him to sleep as well because he looks tired. Like, you can't tell me he doesn't look like he's buff. Like, what is this? Like, huh? And then these two, I'll put Arlo and Cheyenne into the playpen later. So they can learn how to talk and then to walk and all that stuff so that we can get that out of the way. I don't know how the wedding is going to go today because she is so tired and it's already 9 o'clock in the morning. So we might have to save the wedding for thursday but we'll see how it goes maybe she'll potentially um get at least enough rest that we can celebrate because i'd like to get it out of the way uh we could definitely just have it here at home um so we have plenty of space here and then we could invite over our friends and here's the thing is like do i invite over scout even though like you know he absolutely hates him i mean not scout bob i mean he hates bob and scout but, do you know what I mean? Like, do I invite him to our wedding when they literally hate each other? Like, despise? I don't know. Is it worth it? 
And then I definitely need to have Justin head over to the junkyard and get a crap ton of scrap because I genuinely have no idea how much scrap is required. I might have to look it up just to see because I want to at least invent something, you know? Now, what I want you to do, kiddo, is to learn to talk, all right? Should I just have them wake up now and have a wedding? You guys can sleep for a little bit longer, but I don't want to have it late at night either. So let me go ahead and set up for the wedding and then we can uh, do our thing. But just remember that there's no wedding arch for Sims 3 if you don't have, I think, Generations or something like that installed. So I just went ahead and set up like this section upstairs where they can like have their party and whatnot. So I'm just gonna have her throw the party. Also, I just realized that it's been not exactly a year, but a year since I started this challenge, which I would have expected to be a little bit further into the series. But let's be honest, I took a lot of breaks like towards the beginning of the challenge as well. So that's my bad, but we're almost at Gen 4. So I'm hoping to get to Gen 4 by the end of October. So let's cross our fingers and hope I can get there. So we're going to throw a wedding party. Just going to invite over a family, I think. I was about to invite or try to invite like Ludovica and Vince. And then I realized that they're dead. So <laughs> kind of sad. But let's change into our outfits. Let's do formal. We've already seen their wedding outfits, unfortunately. She looks so pretty. I just really wish that there was wedding arches. But it's just so crazy to me that they don't have them. So weird for me to think about getting married without a wedding arch. But it is what it is. Honey, who told you you have to do laundry on your wedding day? Not I. Oh, well, you need to shower? Wait, we don't want you to smell. Our wedding starts at 6 o'clock, so we have time. What if nobody shows up? Oh, wait. Somebody's apparently here. Wait, what? Ooh! Miss Thing, I didn't even realize it's the outfit that you have. That's kind of fancy or something. All right, Miriam. Damn. All right, well, he learned how to talk. Oh, I forgot to change the last names. Why is this something I always forget to do? Let me put Arlo in the walker, and then we'll put Cheyenne in the playpen. Okay. They're so pretty. So can we just get married? Everybody go upstairs. We'll worry about the kids after, all right? Just get in here and... Uh, Party it up. Oh, I didn't even buy stuff. Let's serve. All right, I had to add more lighting because it was kind of dark. <laughs> Who is calling us? No, don't go downstairs. Go here. Are her parents not here? Oh no, they're downstairs. The way they're shaking their butts, like what is that? <laughs> Seamus Drudge wants to know, Sabine would like to go on a date. Dude, she's getting married right now. Are you serious? Hell nah. What the heck? Oh, I love this wedding with my babies crying in the back. What are you owing about? Are you okay? We haven't even done anything yet. Hey mom, how's it going? What are you wearing? What is this outfit? Are you getting married finally? There we go. Woo! The family's all here. Miriam, it's not about you, it's about us. Oh, look at Miriam's face. Oh, her mom. Oh, she's crying. Yes. We're married. Woo. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Wait, they're getting married again. Wait. They're like, encore, encore. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Oh yay. Love it. Yes, Miriam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Anyways, let's take care of our babies because they're not doing too good. All right. Change his diaper and feed him on the floor. How about you? Okay, you need a diaper change as well. Wait, what? What are they saying upstairs? All right, y'all can dance now and eat. So y'all enjoy that, okay? While we go take care of our crying children. I love how much dancing they're doing for this no music. I mean, at least they're having fun, right? Breaking it down and whatnot. Oh no, he's a divine, no. You're supposed to be a case. I'll have to change their names. Why are you crying again? All right, well, everybody enjoyed the party, which is a good sign. Wedding was a success. <laughs> But at least we have a lot of free food that we can eat. Well, by free, I mean we kind of paid for it. So maybe it's not really free <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> Definitely not free. Uh, let's get some autumn salad. 
Why did everybody pick up cookies but nobody ate any? Nice, guys. Just wasting our food. You guys look beautiful. Such a happy couple. So cute. Nothing like the sound of babies crying. Am I right, guys? Thankfully, Ryder ages up in one day. So tomorrow, which is fantastic. So we'll have him as a child, which will be better because having three toddlers is really not um, my favorite thing ever. I want to try and get her promoted this episode, though, because I think a promotion an episode, I think, is reasonable enough. So after she rests up, we'll definitely go get a job. And then I think I should definitely have her um, look through the telescope to get her logic skill up as well. Yay! She knows how to talk. Switch you into um, learning to walk. So I'm going to put her in the walker. Now she knows how to walk. Beautiful. Can you go here? Oh, she can go in this room. I didn't know you could. I thought you could only walk in one space. Oh, I didn't even know you could play with the toys on this thing. Wait, that's so cute. Look at her go. Sabina's doing pretty good. So I'm gonna have her get up and get some food before this goes completely bad. So I'm gonna get her some stuffed turkey and then um, I'm gonna send her off to work. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna send her off to work so we can try and get that done. Oh, she's doing laundry now, perfect. Oh my god, okay. You know, it could get stuck like that. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna go off. Well, we're gonna shower first. And then we'll head over into town and get our next job. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I think I got a few comments talking about the mausoleum and how apparently I can get um, Ludovica's grave from here. Manage the dead. Oh, maybe that's how you do it. I'll have to look at that after. That'd be cool if we could, I don't know if we can place graves in the graveyard if we have them. I don't know how it works. That'd be kind of cool if we could, but I mean, we're gonna be moving out of here anyway, so does it really matter? Unless we just keep taking the graves every time we move. That could also be a thing. I just wanna age up Ryder, honestly. I don't think I can handle one more day. But age him up, I might. I mean, he's already got all his skills except for potty, which I don't really mind. So I might just do it. How long do you guys have? You guys have to age up in four days, which also might happen sooner. Yeah, I think I'll age him up. Because the faster we get this done, the better. <laughs> so I'm going to have him go pick up a cake from the grocery store. And I know it's very fast paced, but this gen is really short. Like based off of objectives. Ask about food issues to three sims. Dang, y'all got me doing work. Oh, here, we have a person. Huxley! Oh my god, you're an elder! Oh my god, I almost didn't recognize you. You're a whole ass cop now. <laughs> I'm so proud. You're so cute. He's going home? Oh, of course you are. Oh, she's looking at her ring. Yeah, I know, you're officially married. Oh look, it's Yusuf. Hi guys. All right, just give me all the deets and uh, we'll be good. Oh my god, wow, you look so cute. <laughs> oh, it's our mom. Hi. When do you become an elder? I'm about to shorten the lifespan. What is this? Does for Prince? Oh. I'm about to shorten the lifespan for adults just so that I can see her be an elder already. I feel like she's close though. She has to be. I'd like to be here when she dies. Because do I move them all to um, Bridgerton? I mean, not Bridgerton. Bridgeton? Why am I not? Bridgeport. Is it Bridgeport? Yeah, I think it's a Bridgeport. I don't know why I couldn't think of the freaking name, but I think uh, that's what I want to do. It's, it's better if I can keep them all together kind of thing. Um, but if they die sooner, it'll be good because then I have to move as many Sims <laughs> with me. Oh, wow, you're so hot. Dude, can you repair a TV and not celebrate my kid's birthday? You have, you have a job to do. Jeez, here we go. Woo! Yay! All right, age up, kid. This TV, man, is so annoying. Can you fix the TV, please? I should have just had freaking Justin fix it, cause this guy's taking forever. There we go. Okay, that's some nice hair. Due to his difficult upbringing, you will not be able to choose Ryder's trait. Difficult. The only thing I didn't do is potty train. Other than that. I think he's had a pretty great upbringing, so I don't know where they got difficult from. He looks like Sabine. Does he not? Well, maybe not with those eyes, but he looks so much like Sabine. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so curious what he's gonna look like then. I feel like Vince's genetics are so strong if that's gonna be the case. He's got the jawline that Davina had and now Sabine has and looks like Ryder has it too. All right, so his makeover is done. Everybody's gonna pretty much be looking the same for my children because I don't really have much CC in that department. So it is getting a little hard trying to have them all have different outfits because <laughs> and there's like nothing there, which is so crazy to me because I already have three expansion packs in my game. I mean, sorry, not three. I have two expansion packs in my game and then also like a bunch of stuff packs too. But like, there's still nowhere near enough stuff. Why are you eating cake? You don't even fix my TV. Justin did. So what do you think you're still doing here, sir? We're paying you by the hour for you to eat cake, dude. Like, huh? This is his uh, actual outfit though. It's not too bad. We love that. The only cool thing about Sims 3 is like, because you have like the color wheel and stuff like that, or create a style, you can kind of make same outfits look a little bit different just based off of, you know, colors and textures and whatnot. So I guess it's not all bad with that. Um, okay, I need to have her go finish off her job though, because I want to try and get her promoted before I wrap up this episode. I feel like once the kids are aged up though, it'll be easier for me to actually do stuff outside the house because right now having so many kids, I feel like I'm so stressed because literally all it is is taking care of them every few seconds basically. You playing with your big brother? That's so cute. <laughs> I love them. I need to update their family tree now that I think about it. Because, wait, why'd you put him in here? Did you learn how to talk? Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, you already did. Is she home? Oh, she is home. Okay, well, in that case, since you can't conduct a stakeout for whatever reason, why don't you just stargaze? Or actually search the galaxy. Let's do that. I'm gonna have her nap for a little. And then, um... What the? Justin? You good? What was that? <gasps> You really need to get... What is going on with you? Every time I, like, I look away, you're like... Justin! Are you being possessed or something? Sir? What is going on? I don't like that. Stop! Okay, because she's a little bit more rested, I'm gonna send her back over to stake out so that we can hopefully get the last bit of information we need Ooh, what is it dudley oh it's bill racket bill racket is involved in all these freaking things damn his voice is so deep sounds like he's using a voice changer did i get what i needed we did. Use a computer to hack Bill Racket's computer. Give me my promotion, please. What? How much more do I need? There's no way. It's like probably like 0.001% that I still need. There's no way. Do y'all see that this bar is full? I cannot believe this. <laughs> like, what is that? Wait, Ryder's even home? His curfew? He's playing on the playground. Honey. Is that what you've been doing this whole time? I miss playgrounds so much. Why does this doesn't have them? I will never know. Go home. Was the police gonna get him, imagine? Get the baker half dozen stand. Oh, we could actually. You had a nice nap. Where did you nap? On the bench? Yes, there we go. So she is now a, what is she? Inspector of iniquities i think i don't know but she's been awarded a yamashoto evasion for her garage what is that i want to see what the thing that she just got there's a bunch of books in here what do you mean oh <gasps> they gave me a car they gave me a freaking car what <gasps> oh my god we have a new car I could just straight up sell that. I mean, we have a Tesla, but they give me a car. I mean, we could maybe give it to a rider when he ages up since like it's a free vehicle. Love this career. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. 
I did what I what I wanted to. We got married. We had a birthday. She got promoted. So things are moving at a good pace. So I'm gonna he head out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.